Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can record your podcasts directly into Wavelab Cast. Wavelab Cast was designed from the ground up to be the ultimate one-stop solution for recording, editing, mixing and uploading your podcasts. And it has all the tools you need to create your podcasts fast and effortlessly. Let me show you how. So let me show you how easily you can start recording and producing your podcasts in Wavelab Cast. Here I have Wavelab Cast and the first thing that you need to check is if your audio interface is selected in the preferences. In order to make sure of that, you go File, Preferences and then Audio Connections. And here you can select your audio interface. In my case, I'm using the Steinberg UR22C and on the Playback tab, I also have the Steinberg 22C so I can monitor the output of Wavelab. So once you do this, you're good to go. Now, the next thing that we need to do is create a new audio montage because audio montage is the place when you can start creating your podcast from start to finish. And as you can see, you can create your own custom audio montage but there's also a really extensive list of templates that can get you started. As you can see here, we have host and guest 44.1 kilohertz. That would be a very useful template if you have a podcast where you have a host yourself and maybe a guest. So you need two voiceover channels. Then we have host and two guests, host and three guests, host and video because Wavelabcast can also support video, host, music and sound effects and so on and so forth. In my case, I want to have my voiceover, music and sound effects. So I'm going to select this template. And as you can see, Wavelab gives me the audio montage with all the tracks ready to go. Now, if I want to start recording my voiceover, it's as easy as selecting my track here. Then I can record enable it, select the input that I want to use for my audio interface. In this case, I'm going to select the first input of my UR22C and pretty much I'm good to go. Now, all I need to do is hit record and now I can start recording my podcast. Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about saturation and how it can help you with mixing and mastering. Then of course, I can stop recording whenever I want and I can resume the recording by just hitting the record button again. And stick around because we have a very special guest on today's episode. And then of course, I can start editing, trimming my audio. I can even do crossfades very easily. And it goes without saying that I can start adding my music straight away. And in order to add a music track, for example, it's as easy as right clicking right here, insert audio files. I can even select from a list of recent audio files, or I can just drag and drop and I can start editing my music as well. Now, Wavelab Cast makes music editing a breeze as well. I can very easily go and split my music to create a different arrangement and I can even create crossfades very easily. I can create points to create volume envelopes and I can even duck the music to the voiceover just by clicking this button and then selecting the voiceover as my modulator track. Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about saturation and how it can help you with it. Now, if I want the music to be lower in volume when my voiceover comes in, I can set this at the darker settings right here. Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about saturation and it goes without saying that if you want to start processing your voiceover to get a great sound, it's as easy as going to the track inspector and activating the different modules. And these effects are really, really easy to use. They don't have any complicated parameters. They're designed so that you can get to the sound as fast as possible. So let's have a listen to the voiceover without the processing and with the processing. Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about saturation and how it can help you with mixing and mastering. So as you can hear, the enhanced section adds volume and clarity to my voiceover and the denoiser removed this annoying fan noise from my laptop. Pretty much everything is one click away, one knob turn away and you can get a great sound very fast. So this is how you can get started recording and producing your podcasts in Wavelab Cast. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.